so hello everyone welcome back now let us start problem number 5.14 on page number 240 of griffith's electrodynamics so a lot of theories given before this problem and examples are also given you can read those problems and try to solve that problem this problem by yourself uh, and let uh, if you if you feel any difficulty then then see the video so let's start the problem he says that a steady current i flows down a long cylindrical wire radius a so radius is given a the magnetic field inside and outside the wire and we we are given with two conditions the first condition is the current is in uniformly distributed over the outside or all right the current is distributed here only the outside the surface of the wire so we need to calculate uh, magnetic field inside and outside so let's suppose a point b here uh, inside of inside the wire and we can see that the point b does not include does not include any charge any current any type of current so i i enclosed is zero here so if it is zero then b magnetic field which is depending on mu not i b dot ds with the integration is mu not i enclosed it is also is zero so b is also zero so inside the magnetic field, uh, if the current is in, uh, distributed over the outside the surface, then then inside the in, inside the wire the magnetic field is zero. Now if we are talking about this is inside, if we take you are talking about outside, then what will happen? If we talk about outside, then let's suppose a point D here, and uh, it is at a distance r. Sorry, it is at a distance r. From the surface, so uh, according to this formula, B dot ds or ds is equal to I enclosed. Then I is enclosed uh, for the surface. I is enclosed, so we can see that I encloses I. And what is ds? Uh, ds we can we can see that ds is uh, r uh, two pi into r. Why? Because uh, the 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 current is distributed outside the surface outside the surface of the wire, and it is the resistance R only. So only the circumference of the circle will come into action. So that's why two pi R, where R is greater than I should say A. A is the radius. So B is equal to mu naught I upon two R or two pi R. So this is the result of A part. Now we are going towards B part. So B part is since current is distributed in such a way that J is directly proportional to S. S is the distance from the axis. All right. So this is the axis of the cylinder. Sorry, sorry. I, I'll I'll make that axis again. I messed it up. So this is the axis of the cylinder. Let me take a shape. And this is the axis of the. So let me take a color. So this is the axis of the cylinder. Uh, yeah. So this is the axis of the cylinder, and a distance s is saying that we are supposing it to be r, and it is a distance. Uh, it is at a distance p. You can say that p. So uh, we we need to calculate a current distributed. We need to calculate magnetic field inside and outside. So first of all, b dot ds is equal to mu naught. I enclosed. We very well know that. So, uh, what is ds here? That, now that's the important part. For a for a uh, for a uh, area element, if it is given as for a cylindrical coordinates, it is given as two pi or r dr d phi. I hope you, if you have read mathematical physics, then you you already understood these things. And first chapter of Griffith's electrodynamics will also help in this this type of uh, problems. Uh, how to how to deal with these? And if you if you if you are facing any type of problem, let me know. I'll make a uh, uh, a different video on this. That how area element, volume element, and uh, length element are taken for different uh, spherical coordinates. And cylindrical coordinates, different type of co uh, coordinate system, Cartesian coordinates. I'll I'll make a separate video if you want me to do. I'll I'll make I'll help you out. So I I enclosed it is here. It it is given by 
we well know very well know that it is given by j dot d d a uh, because j is the volume current density so it is it is just given by j dot d a so d a is r d r d phi and integration so i enclosed it is equal to j is uh, j is directly proportional to r so j is equal to m r m be any constant if you are taking m as constant then we need to find the value of m also because m is not given in the question we are supposing it and this is the rule of uh, mathematics that if you are supposing anything you need to put the value again in that uh, uh, solution or answer so that you can get the correct answer because in the question we are only given r and we are only given i so we need to represent our solution in terms of i and r only so m r square dr with a 2 pi so i should write it as i i should write it as it is not i enclosed till now sorry this is not i enclosed till now i enclosed will happen later on why i i'll, I'll tell you uh, when it will happen so it is 2 pi r cube by m n3 i so i m can written as 3 i upon 2 pi r cube so this is the value of m so if you find the magnetic try to find the magnetic field uh, you'll just use the formula b dot b dot ds is equal to mu not i enclosed so b is equal to uh we need to we need to simplify it by using uh you can say that first of all i enclosed is equal to j d a we very well know this we, we use it so j is m uh r and it is r dr 2 pi now we need to put the value of m now it is m enclosed why because oh i made a mistake here 0 2 a and it will a why i i'll i'll tell you why uh, i was i was trying to uh, say you this but i forgot but the thing is why i use i here because the uh, current is only in the uh, circumference only on inside the wire so i use i i i put the limit a uh, 0 to a and i use the well uh, the the uh, notation i because the current it is a, it is not actually the current it is not in, actually the enclosed uh, total enclosed it is only the current that we are talking about it is not overall so we are supposing a small element then we are integrating it over a whole surface now now it will become uh, enclosed because we have got the value of m now so 3i upon 2pi remember this is a cube i I'll, i'll i'll replace it with a cube in just a second this is a cube so 2pi a cube into r cube by 3 with a 2 pi so i enclosed becomes as the total current now because we have because we, uh, uh, we we are we are talking about uh, the current that has m in it because we don't know the value of m na so we calculate the value of m by using that current we are given because we cannot say that it this current is the enclosed current why because we are not sure what is the value of m so we as we got the value of m now we can say that yeah that is the enclosed current because the enclosed current is in the form of i and a that is given in the question so i and uh, r are will be remaining in the question and uh, will so it becomes i r cube by a cube i hope it's correct yeah it is correct so this is i enclosed so we'll solve it for mu not i i enclosed r cube by a cube and what is Uh, uh ds ds is 2 pi uh, r yeah so magnetic field uh, it is given as mu not i r square by 2 pi a cube now the main things come the main thing comes so this this magnetic field is only only in it is only inside because when when you suppose a uh so, sorry this is the figure is not so correct but try to understand the concept i am i am trying to convey to you so if the if the 
uh, a point is here suppose if the point is p here uh, or any any point suppose a a point is here and it is a distance r from the axis then we don't know the that how much uh, 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 magnetic field it will uh, acquire so it will depend upon r but as soon as the point goes outside suppose this is the point and z and the point z goes outside and uh, we can we can clearly see that a whole of the, uh, the current is enclosed and the it and it is it is enclosed in the whole radius a all right uh, so from the outside from outside the uh, uh, wire we can see that the whole uh, a current is uh, current element is enclosed but from inside it is only dependent on over r because we don't know the uh, how how uh, current is depending upon uh, that uh, that distance so that's why this is r less than a because we don't know uh, how much and uh, which uh, current is, has been enclosed but as soon as we go outside the uh, uh, outside the uh, wire or outside the cylindrical wire long cylindrical wire we get 2 pi a uh, sorry 2 pi then a becomes r so we get just a second i'll use it up here so 2 pi r because because then a becomes equal to r so r greater than a all right this is the value of magnetic field outside this is the value of magnetic field inside and uh, you cannot put the value of m inside the answer because it is not given in the question so you need to put the value of n m using i and a and then again integrate and then again put it the put it in the formula of mu not i and these things and this is the reasoning here that you don't know the uh, actual distance or uh, actual current that has been enclosed in this distance so that's why we will use variables here and this is called as magnetic field uh, inside and then outside thing has been uh, replaced with a uh, 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 distance r that's why a is equal to r that's why mu not i upon 2 pi r which is which is same as which is same as we calculated in the previous question so you can easily verify because why because he's saying that current is uniformly distributed uniformly means Unif uh, y is equal to mx is a uniform equation y is equal to mx similar j is equal to m a uh, that's why i used m here i hope you understood why you uh, i i used m so it is just same as this this formula that i got so if the uh, so you you can you can guess a concept here that if uh, they are uh, uniformly distributed or uh, directly proportional then or power linear power then answer will not change answer will be similar so that's all for this video see you in next video bye bye thank you